Along, it will be Louis Edwards now to take on Nathan Chivers. Yeah, Nathan so. Chivers. E36 versus S15, 500 horsepower versus a whopping 702 horsepower in that supercharged LS. Not only is it 702 horsepower, but there is going to be so much talk in that car. Can Nathan keep it under control today? Can he keep it under control? We're waiting for Nathan Chivers to arrive to the start line. You see Louis Edwards there in that lead position. Big burnout there from Nathan Chivers. Yep, Just massive tyres chippers. As these guys get the thumbs up all round, they slam the door shut and they are off the line. Yeah, Edwards to lead, Chivers to give chase. And, uh, not really seen a lot of Nathan Chivers in competition so far in 2020. Nathan makes Chivers a big really going the track there. Louis Edwards though on a fantastic line, a little bit of a shallow entry, but the rest of his line now. Absolutely fantastic. You see him absolutely driving away from Nathan Chivers. He does not have an answer to the speed of Louis Edwards. No. Louis Edwards just making a masterclass in the second half of this track. But unfortunately, Nathan Chivers just left left standing. Yeah, no proximity from Nathan Chivers. And uh, yeah, look, horsepower doesn't always come into it, you know. I mean, arguably, <laughs> you could say it does have a massive factor, correct. But for me, a, a well set up car, perfect line driving is worth more than another extra 200 horsepower and Louis Edwards has just proved that. Listen, so if you can't put the power down then there's no point exactly, in having it. Exactly that. It's everything it's, without it's, it's everything without that control. So there we go, Louis Edwards putting down a very, very nice lead line for Nathan Chivers to chase. Unfortunately, Chivers not taking that opportunity. Chivers was our 24th place qualifier. So, and uh, Edwards, 9th, so he was just out, and I mean just out of that zone, that, that top eight drivers to get into top 16. So, as so we spin them around, see what Louis Edwards can do in the chase position. Very impressive lead run there. Count Nathan Shivers do a as a job now as he did in qualifying. Let's see. Have a weak entry from those two. No big flicks here. And Nathan Chivers way off line to start off with. Just making life very hard for Louis Edwards. And the judges are going to notice that. It's a come oh, through. We'll drop wheel. in a wheel by Nathan Chivers. But Louis Edwards doing a good job to keep up here. Considering he's, he's chasing a scrap as he tries to find the door. Nathan Chivers just in the wrong part of the track now. Making Louis Edwards' job very difficult. As he come round the last corner. Not too much proximity but... Oh. Very difficult to chase, but he's not even on the track over the line. No, Nathan Lots Chivers. Of mistakes. Uh, he dropped the wheel and it pulled him way off the track. Uh, some mistakes from Nathan, I'm afraid. Fair play for Louis Edwards, uh, you know, for keeping chase on Nathan Chivers there. It was very difficult to chase Nathan Chivers' lead run, unfortunately. So there we go, Marshall goes down to repair the wall, and these guys get stopped. Wow, yeah, it's going to be a fairly clear-cut clear decision there for yeah. the judges straight to Louis Edwards. And, and there, there we, go. we go. He takes the win. Edwards gets the win and advances through to the great eight, which he'll be happy about. And you know what? Nathan Chivers would have just said a few more runs in the car. I felt a little bit more confident and maybe the pressure of competition just, just got to him. He just loves being here. Yeah, he, he loves it. He loves, loves, he loves being, being here. here. He, loves, he loves, you know, being part of the British Championship family and, uh, you know, hanging out and, and, and having some fun. See a little replay. Look What's at that. Going on? Look the wheel. Yeah, it was very Massive wide. Wheel drop. And Louis Edwards is going to be thinking, sat there behind him, thinking, "What is he going to do next?" <laughs> yeah, a little bit of an over rotation there. Finds himself in the middle of the track. Just very scrappy, punting yeah. the tyres all over the place. I think he hit the tyre.